Hello, it's a bright morning and as you can see it's really sunny outside but I thought of giving an intro to the conversational video of today. I received an email from a seven year old child, Tanishka. I'll tell you why I chose her because she's not just for accent over pronunciation. Of course she makes mistakes while speaking but she has got the enthusiasm, energy in the right way to learn to speak. As you know, children are very interested in speaking. They have more energy while speaking from pictures, while telling something from their observation. And as adults, we may think it's so trivial, nothing like that. I had so much of fun conversing with Tanishka. And as you can see in the upcoming video, I showed her a picture and she was so energetic and so happy to speak from the picture. This is something that can be used by adults as well. You may think it's only for children, the color cards, the cue cards and the picture talk is only for children. No, it's for everyone. According to the Cambridge Learning Methodology and also the international renowned ways of teaching English and assessing language, you can use a lot of activities, active learning methods to spark, trigger and help learners speak, communicate, convey and even write based on what they see, based on what they hear, right? So this is what you need to understand from today's conversation and I hope you like it. Good evening ma'am, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you for sending the request. By the way, who was the one who sent the request? Was it you or your mother? My mother sent you message. Okay, so why did you want to have a conversation? Because I wanted to talk with you that um, I want to fluent my English with you and I'm very happy to speak with you. Uh, before the conversation, I was very uh, excited to okay. do conversation with you. Right, right. I'm also very happy and excited to meet you. And mostly I have conversations with adult learners. I'm a trainer for the adults. But your mother sent an email saying that you're so excited, you want to have a conversation. So I thought we will give it a try. Okay? Yes. Right. Okay, yes. Tanishka. So can you tell me a bit about yourself? Um, just what do you do? Um, I mean, of course, you're studying, but which grade? What are your hobbies? What's your favorite subject? Anything that you want to add in? Yeah. My name is Tanishka and thank you for giving me uh, opportunity to speak with you. And I am seven years old. I'm studying in third standard and my hobbies are to reading storybook and I like to play with my ball. I like to play business game and I like to play Uno. Okay, so you like to play business games and you know. Did you say like that? Yes, I like, like to okay. play business games. What's that? Can you elaborate? What's the meaning of business games? Uh, there are uh, monies uh, of plastic and there are cards also. And then we have to play um, and there are two dice. Okay. I will show you that business game. You can see. Oh, this is known as business game. That's great. That's great. Okay. I can show the uh, this one. Ah, yes, 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 yes. I had something known as Monopoly when I was very young. I think still it's there, but this is a different variety, different version. Right? That's great. Okay. So, Tanishka, um, why do you think people have conversation with each other? You said you want to develop your fluency and uh, you wanted to talk to me. So, otherwise, why do you have conversation with other people? And you would have seen a lot of people having conversation in English. Can you give me two... Uh, uses of having a conversation yes because oh uh, i want to make my uh, speak fluency in english okay and that's why i read the story books daily and i can uh, learn so many words yes uh, i can learn so many words also and then uh, their jobs or anything i can Oh, understand yes and what are 
they are doing yes uh, that i can understand so when you have a conversation you share ideas you share a little bit of information sometimes and when you listen you get to hear new words you learn many things from people okay conversations that are useful okay that are productive great good okay so shall i show you a picture can you see a picture there yes i can see the picture okay so look at the picture for some time okay just observe the picture see what people are doing there you see animals and people and so many things there so after observing the picture for some time can you tell me anything about the picture what do you feel what do you think what's happening there what do you like about the picture what you don't like about the picture yes yes i am ready then uh, okay. i will tell a story okay great okay it's pictures of animals <clears throat> and my story name is the animals and okay. there are so many animals like the rabbit dog and a pigeon chicken Okay. And there is squirrel and cat, and there is one a little rabbit mm. and one a parrot. It's in a one a nest, and okay. one girl was uh, climbing on a chair and seeing that the parrot, and mm. one child is hugging to his grandmother. Okay. And there is one cat also sleeping on the grandmother. Okay. And one boy is laughing <laughs> yes <laughs> and then and there are so many trees also and grass mm. there is one gray gate okay yes and then okay and one rat is also okay like there are so many kitchens mm. chickens not yes. kitchens Okay, chicks are there. A lot of chicks. One hen, rabbit. Yes, good. Yes. Okay, so that's great, Anishka. You have observed yes, yes. lo lot of things. You have observed lot of things, and yes, so many animals are there. Did you like the picture? Let me ask you that. Did you like speaking about yes, what's happening I there? Yes, I like the picture very much. Okay, so animals. A lot of animals. Yes, I like the Right, right. Glad to know that. Yes. Now here you see the rat. Yes, there's a rat here. Yes. What does it look like? Is it a living? Is it a real rat, or something else? What do you think? No, I can don't see. It's a real. It's a toy. Yes, because it's got key, right? It's got some sort of key here. So it's a toy. Yes, they are. The boy is laughing and they are having a conversation. They are looking at everything around. Okay, you have the rabbit here. You yeah. have you have lot of animals around. Yes, so you have the dog here, and there is a small lamp. And here the girl is trying to climb the stool and looking at the parrot. Maybe she is playing and speaking to the parrot yeah. in the cage. and you have the grandmother the boy is hugging his uh, hugging the granny and there's a cat sleeping nicely on the lap of the grandmother great good okay so tanisha can you yes. tell me um do you like animals do you like animals yes i like animals okay so can you can you tell me something about your favorite animal one of your favorite animals My favorite animal is a tiger because he have a black strips and oh he have a black strips okay. and um uh, he have a sharp nails also okay. and he have a tail and he, uh before this I can see the picture there is one cat he she uh it have also uh black strips on. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So tigers have got stripes. Okay, it's stripes. S T R I P E, right? So stripes. The some yeah. some 
kitten, some cat, some animals will have stripes. Uh, tiger is ferocious. Okay, what's the meaning of ferocious? Scary. Okay, wild. Ferocious, scary, wild. Okay, it's so big. It lives in... Where, where does a, tri a tiger live? Where can you find the tiger? In a jungle or a forest. Jungle, forest, forest. yes. No, we don't keep tigers at home, right? It's not a domestic animal. That's great. Even I like the tiger. Tiger looks very good. Yes, it's beautiful with the stripes, the eyes and all. Have you seen the cub, the tiger cub? Baby of the tiger. Baby of the tiger. Have you seen the picture of the baby of the tiger? That's a cub. Oh. Yeah. The baby okay. of a tiger is a cub. Tiger cub. Have you seen pictures? Have you seen, watched videos anywhere? Yes. I see one video on the YouTube. Like, a, uh, it's a channel of a Jungle Book. There okay. are so many animals. Okay. And I can see one tiger. Okay. And uh, the cub. Okay. Yes. Right, right. That's okay, Tanishka, it was nice speaking to you. You're full of energy. Are you always with so much of energy? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, um, when you speak in English next time, of course, you're speaking well. You've got a lot of confidence. You're only seven years old. Okay, now next time when you speak, try to pay attention to the tenses. Okay, like I saw a tiger on a YouTube channel. It's over. The action is over. I saw. Okay, when we looked at the picture, you told me there is a rabbit. There is a cat. Okay, uh, uh, somebody is yeah. playing there. So that is like present. It is happening in the present. Okay. okay. In school, uh, we, uh, our teacher, when they teach it. Okay. And teacher taught you okay one day the teacher taught you taught is the past tense of teach right so but slowly if you read you you told me you love yes. reading books right you love reading story books yes yes so, i love reading story books yeah when you read books you can pay attention to the sentences all the tenses will be right you can look how it is written it will help you i have yes uh, in one day, my mother bring one uh, story book, and in the one day, I read that story book whole. You and read the full story, story book. book. Yes, I read the full story book. I completed the book. Okay, so I'm just correcting the sentence for you. One day, I got a story book and I read the whole book. Very good, very good. You just read yes. it in one day. Did you read it in one day? Yes, I very read good. whole. Uh, my book in whole day okay. and my mother brings me a second book and okay. my uh, half book is done now. Okay, so it's done. Half book is done. So I read a book. To read is the present tense. Okay, and I read the book. When it's over, you can tell me, I read the book. I completed the book. Right? Can you repeat that after me? Yeah. I read a book. I read a book. Very good. Excellent. So, shall we close the session for today? Okay, ma'am. Yes. So, it it's, uh, was nice talk with you, ma'am. Same here. Yes, definitely. As I told you in the beginning, it's really nice to meet children. And thanks for speaking very well um, on the picture. I'm, I'm sure that people will be encouraged. And pay attention to some of the sentences and definitely you will progress. You're already full of energy. You're already speaking well. Yes. Have a good day, ma'am. Bye. 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 Have a good day. Bye. Bye. I hope you enjoyed today's conversation. It's not about how many mistakes or how many sentences she was able to make. But it's more about her willingness to learn, to correct and also again to have a conversation, to learn from everything that she has been doing so far. And I think she has a long way to go, but still she has already done so much in the right way. Something that's well begun is already half done. Okay, so get the mindset, get the attitude, the willingness to learn. For children, it's always learning. 
but for adults it's more of relearning unlearning and also learning and if you're really interested in having a conversation with me please make sure that you listen to at least some of the conversational videos watch it thoroughly get the email id it's here as well but at the same time there is an objective there's a purpose for every conversational video that's created it's not just to speak and speaking is not the only way to improve your skills skill is important and grammar is not the only facet of learning a language there are other aspects of language learning as well it's important that you realize this before proceeding further happy learning